Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made a coffee station in my kitchen. If you have been following me for a while, you know that I have been working in my kitchen for a while now. It's been like two months and I'm almost finally done. That video is going to be up soon. So I'm going to be showing you step by step of all the things that I did. I've started by measuring the wall and marking where I was going to put everything. My main concern is that I wanted to erase that box that was up there. That used to be the doorbell, but unfortunately it's broken. So it doesn't matter if I cover it up because it doesn't work anyway. I didn't want to use paint for this project. So instead I decided to go for wallpaper and I found this wallpaper on Amazon that is pretty thick and it covers a lot. I'm gonna list it in the description box along with everything else. The square that I made on my wall was basically 55 inches by 55. So basically what I did is that I started to apply the wallpaper on the wall. I had to take it off a couple of times because I wanted it to be perfect and like straight. I just kept on peeling and applying the wallpaper until I felt that it was very straight and I wanted to cover this box because it didn't really work and it just didn't look good with the wall. So I just applied a little bit of wallpaper on top of it to kind of like erase it. Something is gonna go on top of it later so it doesn't really matter. The edges were not very perfect but what I did at the end is that I used a ruler and with this I was able to draw a line and then I just cut it up with an exacto knife so that's what I did to make it look straight so don't worry if it doesn't look perfect from the beginning because you can fix it later also remember you don't have to choose black this company also has different colors of wallpaper and the good thing about this one is that you don't have to use paint and it's really easy to peel off so you don't do any damage to the wall this is also an option that is very good for somebody that is renting I'm making a video we are here at Lowe's and I saw that they have these shelvings and I think I'm gonna get one of these for the kitchen. It comes in two, so these ones are perfect. I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna get these ones because they are nicer. Let's get that one, how perfect. Get that one. <laughs> so as you can see we went to Lowe's a couple of months ago and I had this shelf sitting there at the beginning I thought that you got several shelves in the same box but it came to be that I only got one so I had to wait for the other one to come and as everything is taking forever as we're going through the situation right now I basically had to wait like five days for the box to come you know the holders that go on the bottom it's better if you get like single ones because if you are doing it by yourself it's gonna take forever I was lucky that I had Chris helping me but if you don't have somebody this can be a little hard I needed Chris's help to install the shelves because they were pretty long and heavy. I started to put like a hook on the wall because I couldn't hang it just by itself as I had that box in there. So I just hung the hook and then I put the little sign that I found on Amazon. Then I went on Pinterest and I found some inspiration for the kind of designs that I wanted to make. If you have a wall that goes straight to the floor, it's gonna be easier for you, but I basically just managed and I started to apply the tape so I could make sure that whatever I was drawing was gonna be straight. And I basically just got inspired with this. And as I like drawing, I just started basically writing a bunch of different stuff in there. I started to put a couple of quotes and like things that I have been seeing on the internet. And you just basically gotta play with it and add whatever it is that you feel like adding. If you want, you can add more color because these markers that I found, they actually come in different colors, but I just wanted it to be black and white because this is the theme of my kitchen. Maybe eventually I will add more color, but I just like it like that. I'm very sorry that I didn't post the video last weekend, but I just wasn't feeling very well as I had been working working so hard on the kitchen to get it done on time. It basically just consumed me and this is just when I got the time to post the video off. So sorry for that. And I also wanted to tell you guys that I'm almost finishing up um, the kitchen. I just need to wait for a couple of things that are being delivered. And after that, I will be editing the video and putting it up. And I'm very excited because it really turned out great. And once I was done with the drawings, I started to add a couple of things that I had found at the thrift store from months ago. I think I bought these things like four months ago and i just added those and i also added a couple of things that we have found on walmart so i just played around with everything that i was adding until i was pleased with the result and in the end this is what it looks like i really love how it turned out and i am in love with the whole look of this coffee station we always enjoy coffee together and we like spending time in this area this is a good option if you are looking for something that is quick and that won't damage your wall as much and that is not gonna take that much time to cover. So I'm pretty happy with the result. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next time. Bye-bye.